Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is an overview of a range of products from a brand I absolutely love and that is Galen Leather. I thought what I would do here is I would just do a quick run through of the products that I have uh, at this point um, early in 2022. Uh, and um, just to give an idea of just some of the stuff they do. Now, I've done full reviews of a number of these, so um, I will link a number of the reviews down below. Uh, the other, some of the others can be found by just searching them on my channel if I forget to link them. Um, but this is the kind of box the things come in, depending on the size of the product, of course. Beautiful hard uh, cardboard printed uh, boxes. Game & Leather is a Turkish company from Istanbul. Make really, really high quality leather products, range of different leathers that they use. Um, and a huge range of products, of course, and also some of the most lovely people on the planet. Each uh, product, uh, you know, order also comes with this little goodie bag, which I really love. It's just such a nice touch. Uh, and in here you get, um, this is one that I've kept whole for, you know, the product purpose of these videos. Like a little, um, you get a refresh refreshing towel, you get uh, Earl Grey tea, you get some Turkish coffee, uh, and then you get this, which is the Evil Eye Charm, um, which I'll leave there. You can pause that if you'd like to read about it. I've spoken about this uh, on other reviews. And uh, it's back with uh, the Galen Leather story on it. So it's kind of nice to get um, a range of bits and pieces, you know, like that. It just shows the company cares uh, and that they're not just in this, you know, with uh, big money dollar signs in their eyes. And I truly believe that with Galen. I think they are absolutely one of the, the best companies around. So let's get started. Let's start talking about all the Galen leather products that I'm going to cover today. So I'm going to start with what I consider to be their like flagship item in a way. Um, this is the A5 zippered folio. It's crazy horse brown leather. Uh, crazy horse leather is sort of the more distressed leather. Um, and as you can see, like this has been well used. It's showing its life, which I love. This is a zippered folio, which uh, opens up and uh, you put a notebook or a pad in this side and then all your accessories in this side. This little uh, card here with the four pen slots comes out, um, which you'll see this feature in a number of products. And it's one of the things I love because you know, if you're using this and a couple of other products at the same time, you can just take it out and move it from product to product. It's all sort of made to fit that. Pen slots, pen loops, you know, pockets, just beautifully made. Um, you know, so this, I've been using this for probably close to a couple of years now. And uh, yes, it's showing a bit of, you know, life and it's got some marks and things, but it's holding together remarkably well and it looks really, really great. Now, these retail, all the prices I'm going to talk today are US prices. Um... Uh, this retails for 119 which I think is a fantastic deal um, given the cost of similar products from other companies. These two products are pretty well linked, so I thought I'd show them at the same time. We've got the A6 and the A5 leather Hobonichi or planner cover. This is the brown and this is the dark brown. So the concept being is that it's a cover with an elastic strap that uh, you remove and open up and you've got pockets on the side for things that can hold a you know an ipad mini or a phone and things like that as well and then the space for the hobonichi now this is the 2022 uh cousin so the larger version and then the smaller a6 version here i have i think this is the 2010 uh, 2021 sorry uh standard um hobonichi so you can see it all fits nicely the only thing that you start to get some wear on is the elastic um, and the same in the elastic on the back here, start to get a little bit of wear. Um, but I've actually stuck a pen loop on the outside of that one. I think it's just a slightly better, in my opinion, it's a slightly better position for the pen loop um, for how I use it. Um, these ones, again, really nice leather, lots of leather in them. Um, like, you know, when you add up all the, the layers, at one point you've got five layers of strong leather. Uh, so really high quality protective products, big and heavy and bulky for what they are, but really, really great. Um, and uh, the A6 retails for 54 US and the A5 for 69 US dollars, which is somewhat cheaper than even some non-leather covers for the Hobonichi Tetros or any other notebook of A6 or A5 size. 
another pair of products I'm going to show together. We've got the uh, leather zippered three pen case and the ten pen zippered pen case here, both in Crazy Horse Brown. Um, this one a few years, a couple of years older than this one. Um, the three pen. You open up and you've got slots for three pens on the side and then like cards or little notebook uh, there on that side. And this retails for uh, 39 US dollars. And then the 10 pen case, um, I should say these are all beautifully, once again, really well made, really nice YKK zips, all of that kind of stuff, metal zips. Um, and you open up the 10 and you've got these sleeves, uh, sheets that go over the top and revealing the five pen slots on each side they fit well for a number of different brands of pens and sizes of pens um you know it's a good size case and this uh, material up here protecting the pens from the zip which is one feature that the three pen um doesn't have so you know you can you know sort of uh, fold that back to you know put your pens in without having to be stressed about them scratching this has these sleeves built in uh, and this retails for uh, 58 us dollars for a beautiful leather 10 pen case from galen leather so we covered pen cases now we're going to cover pencil cases and i have two here this is the extra large uh, pencil case which is a fairly standard sort of pencil case open you know big open zip on it great access to a lot of stuff huge capacity quite firm leather once again this is the dark brown um it's a firm leather but so was this this is now as a couple of years old and i've been using this every day like it's it's currently in use with my stuff um and it has little brass buttons there that open up and take the off there and you see the you know the how that one opens up um this will soften over time it's been in use a little bit you know for the review and things like that um it'll soften up but at the moment i quite like the rigidity uh, of that case um these are really reasonably uh priced uh this one is 35 us dollars um as a good capacity good quality leather strong and uh, robust and uh the little student leather pencil case is about 19 us dollars um i like this because of the profile of it in my bag it fits nicely it's slim it holds a decent amount of stuff enough for like everyday use in my like music job pencils and pens and a ruler and things like that so it's really handy and um they're both a really really good size in fact i think this one would be like great for you know you could use it for makeup brushes and things like that as well because it's got that sort of protected rigidity as well one of the more interesting pen cases or pencil cases from Galen Leather is this. This is the four slot, uh, four slot slip and zip leather pen case, pencil case, and Crazy Horse Brown once again. Now, the you see the zip opens all the way around there, um, and inside it is one of these. I showed this earlier in the A5 folio, uh, so it fits in the folio and the medic bag and a few other things. Um, so you put your four pens in there and that in there. If you put other pens or a couple of no little notebooks and things in there, the fact that this opens all the way around gives you good access to everything. Once again, it's crazy horse leather, so uh, it's gonna you know age well and you know it doesn't matter if it gets too bumped around in school bags or you know handbags or whatever the case may be. Uh, and this one retails uh, for uh 44 us dollars so it's um i think for in terms of the value i think this is one of the ones that sort of pushes uh to where it could be uh, but i think that uh um the internal sort of card with the slots there is a, a nice feature that um this one's against that sort of modular nature of some of the galen leather products before I get back to a couple of the other sort of like leather products and stuff, it's not all about leather. Um, they have these Walden Woodworks products as well. And these are pen stands. Um, so this is a three pen or brush stand. So it sits flat on your desk and you lay the pens across it. And this is the Nib Rest pen, uh, pen stand. So you put a pen sort of across, uh, let's use the first pen I can put my hands on, which is the Enso Aria ballpoint pen. It sits across there like that, or on this one you put them in like that. Now, uh, they have a range of things like clipboards and um, sort of uh, writer's boxes and tape dispensers and things made in these products. These are the two I have. Um, and these both retail for about 19 US dollars each. The next two leather products are ones I really, really love. The first is the uh, th leather flap three pen case. Um, this is really cool. Retails for about 44 US dollars. Um, and it's very protective of your pens. It's a good size. Three pens open up very easy to get to. It holds a good range of pen sizes. Um, 
I just think it's one of the nice, simple products that Galen do really, really well. Uh, it's a traditional product. Um, you know, lots of brands make similar kinds of things. Um, this has got Galen's little um, touch of flair to it, which I really enjoy. And I said about 44 US. The next product is in the smoky, crazy horse leather. And this is the Magnum Opus. This is a very cool case. This is a six pen case. So it's a smoky, crazy horse leather. It's great. This leather is beautiful. Um, and because it's gray, it's kind of understated as well, which I love. So this has a magnetic flap. You can hear that magnet active there, which is really nice. And then you open it up and it's got these six pen slots on this removable tray, which I think is just so cool. Um, the tray has this like very suede felty kind of feel to it, very nice and soft on the pens, the same as the lining on the inside um, of the slot there. And that slides in and out very nice and easily, holds a good range of uh, pen sizes, of course, within the limitations of uh, the uh, the slots themselves. Um, but this is a really classy way to present your pens. It's so rock solid, like, rock rock solid i love it um and it's got a bit of weight to it and a bit of you know sort of size but to carry six pens uh that you really want protected like your high-end pens if you're going to a pen show or a pen meet this is a great option and also just having that ability just to slide the tray out and have your pens ready to go i think is fabulous this retails for 109 us dollars from galen leather now i should say galen leather products aren't just sold by galen leather there are a number of retailers um, online who stock uh, them. Goulet and places like that have a large range of Galen leather products. Uh, and even one of my favourite little stationery stores in a little town outside of Hobart in Tasmania, the little island state at the bottom of Australia, sells them in store. It was so cool to walk in and actually see a bunch of Galen leather products like in the flesh um, in a store. So that was cool. Um, so yes, the Magnum Opus, $109, US dollars, a really, really great six pen case. And there's also the bigger one as well. Um, and uh, so if you're looking for something that is like really next level for your pens, something like this is a great choice. Let's now talk a few of the other Galen products again. Uh, and we'll talk notebooks. To go, uh, up until now, uh, Galen Leather Notebooks have used Tomo River paper. This is their A5 sort of e the everyday book. You can see this is still um, an unopened one. Uh, hand-bound blank paper, it comes with guide sheets, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, this is it, guides included, uh, which you put you know underneath the sheet and sort of can write through it. Um, so these ones have 64 pages or 120, no, 64 sheets, 128 pages, uh, and you get a set of three of these for $32 in the A5 size. There are also a range of other sizes, everything from pocket size through to traveler's notebook size, um, as they're using the 60, or the 52 GSM. Tom or River paper. So this is the like the little sort of like um sewn bound version. There's also this, which is the put in the bag, is the A5 um notebook, Tom or River notebook. And this is the 200 sheets or 400 page version. It's again the blank paper. It's Tom or River paper, so we all know how this paper performs and it writes you know, handles ink really, really well. Um, and these retail for 32 uh, US dollars. Um, and once again, it's a 52 GSM paper. And uh, you can just sort of see here, you get the guide sheets, which have like different grid rules um, and a couple of different line rules. And then uh, you get the blotter sheet here, which works both as a blotting sheet, but also uh, as a, a, a writing sheet. So you can put this below uh, the page you're writing on for a very comfortable writing experience. Um, but this is the black um, sort of cardboard, textured cardboard cover version. They also make a leather bound or leather covered notebook very similar. And I have the B6 version here. This is how it comes presented, which I really, really love. Like, I think it's just a great, great way to present a notebook. As you can see, this is the forest green crazy horse leather. Um, and it's exactly the same kind of um, notebook, blank Tom or River paper, 52 GSM, um, writes, you know, like you get sheen, you get, you know, shading, all of that kind of stuff, writes beautifully, show through, but handles ink very, very well. Um, and the B6, there's an A5 version of this as well with the leather cover, uh, but the B6 version, which as you can see is a little bit smaller than the A5, um, the B6 version leather covered retails for uh, 29 US dollars. Um, it's a very thin leather cover, 
Um, so it's not going to be super protective, uh, but for, you know, if you don't mind it getting sort of banged up and worked around a bit, I think it's really nice. Other products that they have done is they have a range of fountain pens using a couple of different brands. Uh, and something they've done twice now is done exclusives with uh, Kaveco, who is a German uh, fountain pen company who have a fountain pen model called the Sport. Um, and Galen did a collaborative edition on this beautiful violet purple sport with a Galen leather they're printed on the side. All the collaborative editions with stores have the other store's name on the side of the pen. Um, so you've got Kaveco Sport and then Galen Leather. Uh, and it's a very small pocket pen that you then post and it becomes a, a good size in the hand. It's a very uh, simple, very nice pen. And Galen are now done too, the Cognac, which is brown, and now this version. Um, and what they also have done is they have this um, little leather Kaveco Sport pen case. And there's no slots or anything. You simply just sit it in there. And then you zip it up and you can carry that or up to three sports in this little leather case. Now, the pen is currently sold out, and I think the success of the first two collaborative editions would hopefully suggest that they will either restock them or collaborate on more. Um, the pens uh, retail for 30, uh, I think it's 34 or 39 US dollars from memory. I said they're sold out just at the moment as I'm filming this. Um, but it's a really nice pen, uh, and then the case for 19 US dollars uh, separately. So, and they do other Kaveco Sport cup, you know, cases as well, like the little student pen case, the little flappy one, stuff like that. So, it's very cool, and uh, I really like the collaboration with Kaveco. One of my favorite little products that Galen have um, sort of created is this guy. This is a pencil sharpener case for the M and R, or the Mobius and Rupert uh, bullet sharpener. Um, they also do one for the larger round sharpener. This costs $9, including the sharpener, the larger one, 13 Simple way to protect not so much the sharpener because, you know, this is brass and robust. It's actually, for me, I see it as more a way to protect everything else that's in your pencil case because these are, as I said, they're heavy. They've got knurling there that is rough and, or not rough, but textured. You don't want to damage your pen. You don't want to get them all sort of like knocked up by the little sharpener. So putting it in a nice soft little leather case like this, I think is rather cool. So for 9 US, I think it's not a bad option. Into the home stretch now, two more products to look at. The first is this. This is the A6 Slim Leather Notebook Cover. This is a really simple product. You put your notebook in there, you've got slots for a couple other bits and pieces, a pen loop, and it just protects your notebooks. A6 size, so anything that fits in there. I had my Hobonichi Techo in there for a while. Um, there's also the A5 version, so you put the Cousin in there. So if you want a nice leather Galen case, but you don't want the bulk of the, the bigger case I showed earlier, this is a really lovely, simple option. Uh, and super, super reasonably priced, 29 US dollars. So affordable, so good. Um, so something to definitely, definitely look at. Now, the last product I'm looking at today, if you've watched my channel, you might know what this is. It's not gonna fit under the camera. It's this. <laughs> this is the extra large writer's medic bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you some footage from the review and a couple other videos I've made while I quickly talk about this. One thing I love about this is uh, the robustness and the, and the stability of it. It's big, it carries a lot of stuff, but it carries it very well and protected. I use this as my art supply carry for when I you know, do urban sketching or whatever I want, even just moving it from one room to the other. It's a great way of carrying everything. Um, it, as I said, it holds a lot. There's a bit of weight to it, but uh, it's got lots of compartments to carry all your things. And uh, it's just a really very cool way of, of, of carrying it and holding it. and um, I think it just is a great looking product. Once again, really well made, uh, nice clips and edges. It's got, you know, these sort of handles and straps and things on the back uh, that are all super secure. It's just a really high quality product. Um, and that does come with a price. This is the extra large version. So it retails for 349 US dollars, but you are getting a lot of bang for your buck here. These are all leather products, so they are gonna cost more than other materials. But I think uh, at 349, I think this is what you would expect to pay uh, for an item of this quality uh, with this much going on. And once again, it's got that little slot compartment that you can take in and out uh, to um, you know move from 
modular things from like the zip and slip to the A5 folio and such. So this is the extra large writer's magic bag here in this smoky, crazy horse leather, about 349 US dollars. Well, I hope you found this video about uh, the Galen leather products I have in my collection to be interesting and useful. And I hope you found a few things here uh, that might spark your interest to look into the brand and uh, go and support these wonderful people uh, who make really, really high quality leather products. Um, love to know your thoughts on them, uh, what you have in your collection. Share it all down below. You can get in touch with me on Instagram or Twitter. Contact me via my email listed below. Um, if you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. Um, a big, big thank you, huge thank you to Galen Leather for their support of my channel over the last few years. Um, I look forward to continuing my collaboration with them and providing you, my viewers, with uh, videos of their wonderful, wonderful products. Um, and uh, yeah, big thank you for their support. It makes this channel possible. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and all the accessories that go along with it. And I'll talk to you soon.